everybody, this is Miss K, and welcome to Miss K Go Postal. So, I just came from work, I'm chilling, I thought about you guys, and I thought about a conversation I had today at work with a fellow co-worker, and I wanted to, you know, go back and forth and have a little conversation, a little banter with you guys about this particular topic. So, one of my co-workers mentioned, who happened to be a regular, a career employee, was like, you know what? What if we just got rid of MHAs or PSCs altogether, non-career employees, right? Non-career mail handlers, non-career clerks. And we just went ahead and did away with that whole system. And we just hired straight off the street, like we used to do back in the day, and make them career employees when they come into the door. It would solve a lot of problems. You know, it would negate having to convert. And we wouldn't have to have all this, you know, assistant positions, no casuals, no PTS, whatever the hell we still got nowadays, 360s, whatever. And we just had straight employees that came in the door who were already career employees. And I was like, hmm, really? You would want to go back to the old way. Now, for some of you who are newbies in the postal system and may not know how the postal system used to work, back in the day, I mean, back in the day, baby, <laughs> back in the day, listen, you had to go and you had to have a sit-down test. No, baby. Not the crap that you guys do now to get in the door. That foolishness you do on your laptop on your phone. Uh, and, you know, you fucking say, hey, yeah, I enjoy working in the post office. I, I know what one, two, three, four, five, six is if it's in a zip code. No. Back in the day, you had to literally, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, you had to stand in line. You had to find a postal testing facility. And there were fake ones on top of that. So they made you pay money to take a postal test that never fucking really existed because the post office never asked you for money. And then you would go and stand in line and you would be out there for hours and you would be out there with two or three hundred people who want to get called to come into a building to take a test. Now, this test was at least three to four pages long. Child, I ain't never seen this test before, but I heard it was hard as shit. But it weeded out a lot of people coming into the post office. Now, back in the 90s, the post office did hire people right off the street, meaning that they came in, they took the test, and they hired them, and they made them career employees. There were no casuals. They didn't make them PTFs. They didn't make them MHAs. They didn't make them PSCs. They made them career employees. A lot of those employees are now retiring or have retired. So you may not even see or spoken to these people because they probably are not at the post office anymore. And if they are still there, they're not going to give you the information because they probably don't like you. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. They probably really don't like you, though. They probably don't. But anyway, so I thought about that. What if we did go back to the old ways of how we used to hire people? Because honestly, <laughs> the way we hire right now is clusterfuck. It's sad. You hire people, listen, the phone's are already full of incompetent motherfuckers. So now you're bringing in more incompetent motherfuckers. Silly, stupid, dumb people who are coming in there and they're just walking around like they have a no fucking clue. But you can't, you can't, you know, you can't blame them because there's nobody to train them to do shit the proper way. But if you think about it in the scheme of things, would it make sense if we did it that way, since DeJoy wants to do all this slashing like it's a fire sale at the post office when it comes to overtime, employees, discipline, everything of that nature, would it make sense to go back to the old ways if you only needed 10 good candidates and you chose them based upon this test? Now, I am not quite versed on what the old test was. I do know that test was very hard. And there also was a physical that was involved in this test. So you had a written part of the test and you had a physical. Now, honestly, we need to bring the physical back because these motherfuckers, they hiring me. They is lazy as all get out. And then they can't come and push nothing. <laughs> oh, I can't push an OTR, oh my God. And those are the men, baby. That ain't even the goddamn women. That's a sad part. These old... <laughs> Ooh, ooh, y'all finna get you finna get this cat out of character, but <laughs> let me not do that. Let me let me leave that alone. Let me leave, let me leave them the boys, them the boys alone. But if we were able to go back to the old way, would we get a better class of candidate coming into the post office? Honestly, I think we would. Why not? Post office needs workers. 
Yes, there are times that we slack off and fuck off in the post office, but a lot of us, a lot of us, we do really do work. And we do try to make sure that the mail gets out and that shit is done properly, even if the supervisors and the MDOs really don't give a fuck. It's the employees that care and do the work. So why would we not want to hire and have come in a class of employee that's on that level if we decided to do away with all this mail handling assistant PSC crap and just hire people based on the tests that they took, based on the physical and their scores are high enough and you come in and make them a regular, make them a career employee. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, but Miss K, if they do that, then you just have a bunch of regulars running around the building. Correct. Correct. That's what you would have. A bunch of regulars running around the building. You wouldn't have any non-career employees, meaning that they're more vested in wanting to work. If you're not vested, if you're just, you know, you're here because you're trying to become a career employee or this is just a stepping stone and you're passing time, this will weed out those who really want it and those who really don't want it. You know, what do y'all think? I'm just saying, just a little conversation to have. If you think about it, the way the post office has hired in the past 10 years is sad. Honestly, it's, it's really sad. It's, it's sad, sad, sad. What we're bringing in, what's their working, their work ethic is pathetic. So if we weeded out all of that at the gate with the old school ways, the old school way of doing stuff, you would have to sit out and do a written test. Now, mind you, this written test back in the day, this was like the 80s and the 90s when you were still sitting down and you had to go with a pencil, baby, number two, like you're taking SATs and bubbling in and shit and answer these questions. And it was serious because there was a postal book that you would actually read. It was a test book so that you could study to pass the test. And this test was not easy, not by a long shot. It was very hard. There were people who could not pass this test, who probably could pass the, the bar. The bar exam they really could probably become a lawyer because but they couldn't pass the postal exam so this is where we should sit and think about would this be a good way to go back to in order to get the quality kind of employee that we need working back at the post office now you would take this test test was like two hours long which was long dog was long and then after the test they would call you back if your scores were high enough out of all the people who took the test and you would do a physical. And the physical, you had to show that you could actually do the work, lift the equipment, pick up trays, do this and do that. What y'all think? Honestly, think about it. If we went back to that way, if we just said frigate, and then we did it that way, hired people, and they became career employees. Now, would it mess up the ratio of regulars that you would have at a certain plant or a certain station or wherever you're working at a certain location because you might need to have X amount of non-career employees to career employees. Yes, but that can be changed. That can be, you know, redressed in a contract for the new term and they can change all that. They change the shit every year, every two years. What's the difference? But what will happen is you will have less people being hired. If you have a set amount of regulars, of career employees that you want to hire, and let's say it's 10, because you already got 100, so now you want to make 110. Everyone you're going to hire is going to come into that particular location as a career employee. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to automatically come in. They're going to automatically get a bid. They're going to automatically go start to work. None of this, you have an MHA, and I'm just using MHA because I'm a mail handler, coming in who's non-career, their days change, their times change, they might switch a tour, they may decide to quit because they're not getting no hours. They don't like it. The work's too hard. You know, maybe they just don't, you know, they don't like it anymore. Maybe the benefits are good for them. Maybe they just say, you know what? I can go work at Amazon. <laughs> go do that. See how you like that. When you hire people off the street and you're basing how you're going to make them a career employee on the test merits, then everything changes. Your quality, your caliber of employee changes. Not the garbage that we're getting in now. They barely get drug tested, child. Oh, and back then, baby, you had a stringent hell of a drug test. P 
piss in the cup if you want and use your girlfriend's pee and she pregnant. Yeah, you heard what I said. You heard what I said. She pregnant. <laughs> and you ain't even know it yet. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. But anyway. So, would the post office be better if we went and hired straight people off the street after taking the test, after taking a physical, and then once you hire them, make them a career employee? Who knows? We're not even on that anymore. We don't even use that method. Maybe if we went back to it, maybe there will be a different post office. Maybe we wouldn't have the issues that we're having now, especially with the joy coming in and slashing everything like it's a tire sale. Who knows? We can only speculate how that will work. But speculation is neither here nor there. But it's just something for you guys to think about, food for thought. And if you get a chance, drop it in the comments what you think. What if we just went back to the old way of doing the test, doing the physical, and once you got hired, you became a career employee? No more MHAs, no, no more PSCs. How would that work? Y'all let Miss K know, because you know what? I think it might could work, but I could be wrong. Sometimes I am. It's very fucking rare, though. You know what I'm saying? But always. So remember my postal freaks. Think about it. Drop it in the comments. And always, love and light. Peace.